What's up guys? I'm back doing another video and today I'm going to be playing the D23 Fortnite event. I had some issues with my camera before the event started, so it's going to start like halfway through the introduction, but this is the recording that I managed to get. 5 days a year. Oh, the event started. It started. Yeah, we are bringing the full Ooh. power of Disney storytelling to this dynamic new environment. To talk more about it, please welcome some of the best storytellers in the world. Jennifer Lee, Pete Doctor, Dave Filoni, and Kevin Feige. Yes, the event started. What the? I gotta sit down for this. Thank you guys for coming out. It's an exciting night at 1923. Be careful there, Pete. Uh, you all shared some great news last night, so thanks for coming back on, on night two to D23. Uh, we've been talking about the possibilities for this collaboration with Epic Games. Uh, hundreds of millions of our fans have already played with our characters inside of Fortnite. Now we have a great opportunity for new ways to tell stories. So, Jen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with you. How do you see our classic animated characters evolving in this new universe that we're yeah. talking about? Well, Josh, I can tell you that everyone at Disney Animation is so excited about the potential that we see in the collaboration with Epic. And I am especially excited because my daughter lets me watch her play Fortnite, like, for hours. Is she one of the oh, wow. million people watching now, maybe? She may just be, <laughs> right now, on Disney Horizons Island, so... <laughs> Hi, Agatha. It's your mom. <laughs> and I'm not embarrassing you at all, right now, in front of a million people, so... But seriously, we can't wait to create new ways for the audience to enjoy their favorite Disney characters and worlds, and now I know that this Disney universe is still in development, but we didn't want to wait to share something with the Fortnite fans, which is why I am so excited that we are bringing Disney animation characters to the game for the first time this fall. Yo! Holy crap, wait, what? Something villainous. Is coming. They're talking about Doctor Doom for to Fortnite. Oh, I think it is. Yo, R yo. They're adding the Disney villains. What the heck? Well, that's... Yeah, that, that looks looks pretty amazing, and you're right. Bringing these characters into Fortnite is just scratching the surface of what we're talking about here with with Epic Games. Pete, what do you mean? Congratulations! Congratulations <laughs> on the success of Inside Out 2. Pete, well, that's the guy that made Inside Out 2, guys. Film, anime film in history, it's, it's amazing, so congratulations to you. Yeah, thank you, it's pretty crazy, we couldn't be more proud of our team, they did a fantastic job. Well, we all know that innovation is such a, a crucial part of storytelling, it's fundamental to everything that you, you do and your team do at Pixar, so getting to play in this new Epic Games universe, it feels kind of like a natural fit for you. Oh yeah, I mean, from Toy Story on, we've always looked at technology as a great partner with the storytelling that we're trying to do. Pushing boundaries of technology so we can tell new stories is really what we do. And I feel like, in a way, this is a little, uh, reminds me of our short films, which we use to, use to test new technology and play with characters. And I really could see this as an extension of that process. What the? Uh, we're excited about playing with new original ideas in formats with Epic. So, the possibilities are endless, and you know, Jen, I don't want to have you let you and, and your daughter and, and the, the, the Walt Disney uh, animation have all the fun. So I am also thrilled to announce the first Pixar characters are coming to Fortnite this fall, and they are incredible. Oh, oh very good. Very good. What the? <laughs> Yo, are they adding? 
Incredibles? The Incredibles? Are they adding The Incredibles to Fort? Holy crap! There's no way. Bro, The Incredibles in Fortnite before GTA 6? Pete, looks fantastic. Looks, looks fantastic. Dave, I'm coming to you next. What, what you, what you got for Lucasfilm? You, you gotta show these two guys up, I'm sure. Yeah, we've, we've been in Fortnite a little bit here, blowing things up and blasting things. The best thing about this announcement is you're gonna get this stuff next week. No way. <laughs> next week? Is that it? No. Oh, that skin's cool. That, like, joy skin. Ooh. Really? There's no way they had Baby Yoda back. Unless it's like a... Like him in the bag, only. Because they can't do the... The crib thing. Oh, it is! They're adding back Baby Yoda! <laughs> August 12th. Oh, you guys better start saving up your V bucks for that. Myself, I don't know. But Dave, as we as we look out to this new universe, it, it seems to play to to your strengths. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, video game Star Wars. George Lucas always believed in the kind of integration. We blasted the Death Star in our lives, playing an old vector game. The technology's improved. The graphics has improved. A lot of times we're recreating the movies, getting in that galaxy far, far away. But now, you know, through the integration, we've even used gaming technology like Epic's Unreal Engine in shows like The Mandalorian in our environment. So we're always constantly looking for new ways to really take you, the fans, to our galaxy. And we're working on it. We're really excited about this collaboration with Epic and what it can mean for our galaxy and our storytelling. So Bro, I'm most definitely copying the Baby Yoda oh, back blade. Yeah, completely agree with you, Dave. And, you know, since you're here, why don't we tell everybody about It's not that better than my tree frog back bling, obviously, but it works. Yeah, this I'm really <laughs> excited about. If you're ever in the park, sometimes you might see me and a friend of mine named John Favreau. We love the parks. Yeah, John, he's the best. Uh, we love riding the rides and, and just going around Star Tours, all different things. Uh, we did a little research last Thursday in the park. Yeah. We rode a particular ride a couple of times because currently we're shooting a new movie called The Mandalorian and Grogu. Uh, it'll be out in 2026. <laughs> and uh, being huge fans, uh, we were really thrilled when, Josh, you guys asked us to take a look at one of the rides. And we're going to share something really cool. Uh, we are working with the Disney Imagineers to do a new Mandalorian and Grogu story for the Millennium Falcon ride smugglers run. Oh, crap. Yeah. Hey, these few upcoming years for Epic are about to be well, listen, sick. Flying the Millennium Falcon alongside Mando and Grogu sounds like a Star Wars dream come true. And of course, we're going to use the Unreal Engine to create it, so this whole thing comes, comes full circle. Alright, thank you, D23, and may the force be with you. <laughs> exactly. Kevin, coming over to you. Marvel's been already huge in, in yes. Fortnite, yes. and the response that we've seen, just, just fantastic. It's been amazing. You know, it's going back to 2018, the relationship we have with Epic is great. 2018 is when Thanos first stormed across the island in our Infinity Gauntlet event. It was time for our Infinity War movie. Uh, a few years after that, Galactus came and destroyed the whole island, and some of you, or the million, did you say million, John? Million plus, plus I said. Uh, may have seen that clip. That clip of Galactus destroying the island of Fortnite is so cool. I shared it with the team currently making the Fantastic Four movie to get that spirit of Galactus across. It's incredible what they're able to do. And what else I love, and my 11-year-old son who plays Fortnite every day, a lot of people learn about our characters for the first time, Thanos, Galactus, through Fortnite. So we get a chance that everybody can learn about our heroes and our villains for the first time, and that inspires them to then go look at our comics, go on Disney+, Plus, go to our movies. So this new collaboration is really remarkable. Games have become an extension 
of our storytelling, and I can't wait for everybody to see what we have in store in the future with this amazing collaboration. But that's the future. In the here and now, we have something I'm very excited to announce. Tonight, the next season of Marvel at, on Fortnite, next week, August 16th. <laughs> and this, let's go. <laughs> and like Thanos and Galactus before him, there's a very iconic villain coming. It is a character you may have heard us speak about over the last couple of weeks. Coming to Fortnite is Doctor Doom. Now we have an official trailer here. Do you guys want to see the trailer? Yup. Roll it. Oh, they're adding Cap Shield. Oh, they're adding Black Panther too. Black Panther was not in the last season. Oh, they're adding back the Iron Man Repulsors and Gwenpool. But oh, that's the dual SMGs that have been in the. Yes, they're adding War Machine. Dude, yes! Let's go! War Machine's one of my favorite Marvel characters. Ooh! Next season's about to be crazy, y'all. What the? Oh yeah, I'm definitely copping that skin. <laughs> that Peely Wolverine skin looks so goofy. Thanks for watching. Is that it? Is that the whole of it? Wait. Is there anything else? Oh, I think that's the end. Dude, holy crap. I am so excited for this next season of Fortnite. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, I ask that you like, subscribe, and put turn on the post notification bell. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell so you get uploaded every time I release a video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.